Hi everyone, it's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and today we are, I actually have a very special guest here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Mm -hmm. Hmm, she might not, but she's going to be helping me and Stella. This is Sam. Say hi, Sam. And um, we're going to do some fun stuff in the garden. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read a little bit of this book. It's called Zinnia's Flower Garden. It's written by Monica Wellington, and I believe she also does the illustrations. Let me turn the page. All right. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out the stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Zinnia carefully plants as many kind of flower seeds in a row. She covers the seeds with dirt and, pass, and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. Look at all those flower seeds she's got. She's got black-eyed Susans, Cosmos, Asters, Sweet Peas. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days pass. It's hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look, the first seedling is poking its way up. That is the germination process for the seed. Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing towards the sun. Little stems grow taller, little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs, and she measures how tall and strong and healthy her plants are growing. Every day, they're getting bigger and bigger. First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She is excited to see little buds grow on many of her plants. That is showing you the life cycle of a butterfly and how butterflies are super beneficial for her garden. And then at last she finds what she has been waiting for, the first flower, one bud has bloomed. How beautiful and what sweet smell. There are many but more buds that will open soon. We are gonna learn about this a little bit. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Zinnia paints, reeds, and picnics amongst them. Butterflies flutter, buzz, bees buzz, and Zinnia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. Her flowers are abundant and Zinnia cuts some of the range into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in the warm breeze. On a hot summer day, Zinnia has had lemonade stand and puts up a sign Pick up your flowers, customers, and come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. In the autumn, as it gets colder, Zinnia picks the last flowers from the garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected, and she will save them to plant for the next year. The winter days are short, and the sun is dim, and the ground is covered with snow, but Zinnia is already planning next year's garden. When spring comes, she will be ready to grow her very own flowers again. The end. All right, ladies. Now, first things first, what is your favorite flower? Do you have a favorite flower? Kind of. Yeah? Uh huh. But but in, but it's all white except for this one splotch where things come out and it's purple. Ooh, I think I know what you're talking about. Those are pretty. How about you, Stella? I think it's a sunflower. A what? I think it's a sunflower. A sunflower is your favorite flower.
my favorite flower is, I have actually so many, an echinacea and bleeding hearts. Those are really pretty. My mom has a blue book, a giant bunch of bleeding hearts right across the, the back, the side of, of, of the lodge. Yeah, that's awesome. And Mm -hmm. and, those things, and those bleeding hearts in like two weeks, they'll fully grow. That's amazing. They don't even need to plant them. They no. Alright, so what we're going to do, I got some flowers. You guys want to come over here? i to maneuver myself. And let's see. are these? Can you tell me what flowers these are? Do you know? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh. It's a lot of fun to say. Um, it's called a chrysanthemum. Wow. Can you say that? Chrysanthemum? <laughs> I can't say it. It's a little, it's a little tongue twister for sure. I think that looks great. <laughs> Just dig a little extra. Just a little extra. Um, Stella, do you want to dig over on that side a little bit so we can put both of them in there? Just on that side a little. No, on the side, not in that hole on the yet. Okay, so that's not going to help anything. There you go. Okay, then. There we go. So what I want you to do, you want to grab that one, Samantha? Sure. Could I have that one or? Oh, you can have either or. So we're going to take this part off. You're going to grab it at the base, but don't rip. Just grab, mm -hmm. push it upside down, and go like that. Okay. Stella, you want to grab that one and do that? So you're going to grab... Put your hands through that, don't because it is the stem, so be a little gentle. And then you're gonna hold it a little bit, and you're gonna dump it upside down. Yep, pull that right off, there you go. And with this part, you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna squish it like that. So, go like that, and upside like this? down. Yep. And the next thing we're going to do is put that in the hole. Here you go. And you want to put the dirt around it. So dump it upside down, Stella. There you go. That'll be the part. There you go. Now what I told her, um, put your hand over it and squeeze that part. Good. That looks pretty great. I, I plant at my home. Yeah. Hold on. Do I you have, have lots of flowers? Yeah. Do you I, have veggies too? Yeah, I got tomatoes and cubes. Nice. 
Those are vitally important. Yes. That thing's going high. There you go. Dad wants to see if he can find a way for where the ant colony is near our house and just spray it. Yeah, yeah, the ant little. <laughs> no, there's like an. He knows there's an. We know there's an ant colony somewhere. Mm hmm. Because we've seen like a queen ant come in there and come out. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, crazy. Like, five, like, ten came in, walk and walk, and then they come out, mm -hmm. and they got their stuff. Um, and, then, and then Mrs. Queen just walks in here. And, <laughs> and, and my cat, Scooter, will hunt anything, and he's in his hunting mode. And he's oh, yeah? scared, scared of the Queen Ant. He's scared of it? That <laughs> is so silly. It's an ant. <laughs> What's wrong with Cats you? Cats are funny like that. A, a cat is a flick. Is, yeah, like is afraid they of a ants. table. Yeah. Another table. Ah. What the? That's funny. Wow. So can you guys tell me what you think is important about be having flowers in the garden? Do you know off the top of your head? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. What do you think? Don't let slugs go on there or aphids. Mm-hmm. It's a very it's a very good uh, distraction for other Test. It keeps them away from your veggies. It also attracts. What does it attract? Butterflies. Butterflies. And why are butterflies good? Because they make it more stronger by carrying the pollen. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So it's very important, I think, to have flowers in your garden, especially to attract the bugs that you need and to even get rid of the bugs that you don't, if you want. If you wanted to experiment a little bit, you can take off one of the heads. I guess I'd take off this guy. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, look. I didn't even well, do much that. to it. That's perfect. Whoa, I can't. The poly looks gooey. It looks gooey? I can actually see the pollen without this thing. I just got a little stick. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got so <laughs> That's really cool. This is how you make it. That's how you make it? This is how you make flowers go quick. This is what you do. So what do, do you know what the petals do? They and They actually are the reason why they attract insects. Because the bright colors, so it attracts them to come over and pollinate. And then you have the anthers, those little things right here. Yeah, it sounds mm -hmm. like a beetle. That makes the pollen, I, which I, you already knew that. It's all beetle on um, like sunflowers. If you want and aphids, if you don't want to have the problem with spraying your plants mm -hmm. for aphids, call out to ladybugs. It's gotta be easy. Ladybugs, yes. It's gotta be easy for me because they because my window is the side of the sun and they always nest on my window. Yeah. So I can just go and scoop in the floor and I find 100. I just want like this drag in a bucket in there. I pull it up and there's, and there's ladybugs in there. I'm like, how the heck did you get in there? <laughs> the ladybugs are very good for your garden. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, a wasp. Yeah, I like ladybugs. I even like one. That? Oh, that's a flying ant. Oh, those are fun. I haven't left one spoil on me. Alright guys, I'm going to have them mess around a little bit more with the garden. Um, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Sam, for joining us today. It was a lot of fun with you. I hope you guys have a great day. I feel like a bug. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the outside. Dig in your gardens as well. Have a bunch of fun. Alright, bye guys.